The Slender Man was born June 2009, when a competition challenged people to come up with the most terrifying new modern myth. One contributor, named Eric Knudsen, contributed two faked images displaying a tall man devoid of facial features lurking behind groups of children. The story behind the photos was that in the mid-1980s, 14 young people, along with a photographer, had gone missing. This story blew up on the internet, causing the creation of stories branching off and bringing to life the legend of the Slender Man. Although the stories behind Slender vary, the man appears with similar features including a long, lanky body, a featureless face, and tentacles that attach to his back. From video games to fan films to countless fan fiction stories, it was like the Slender Man had come alive. And for two young girls, the story of Slender Man became more real than anyone ever expected. On May 21st, 2014 at 2 a.m., 12-year-olds Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire lured their friend into the woods and stabbed her 19 times. The girl was found by a bicyclist and after days recovered in the hospital. The reasoning behind their attack was to basically sacrifice their friend to the Slender Man, who would then allow them to live with him forever. This story goes to show you that even though a story may be untrue, its outreach influence can at times creep into our unsuspecting reality. If you grew up in the time of the Nintendo 64, as I did, I'm sure you would have a fondness for the beloved game The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I know, it sounds like we're getting random and nerdy, but on September 7th, 2010, a user on 4chan named Jaducible, his real name was Alex, began to post his experience with this mysterious game cartridge. After being given the game from a conspicuous old man, Alex began experiencing strange happenings within the game. Things such as incorrect text, music being played backwards, and the appearance of an unexplained figure plagued the game. After being given multiple messages throughout the game, Alex came to the conclusion that his game was being haunted by a boy named Ben. The experiences once being limited to the game began to slip into his actual reality. Electronic equipment began going haywire along with other strange paranormal happenings such as dream manipulation. The story ends with the plea to not spread the influence of Ben by sharing images or videos relating to the event. Well, I just did that, so... Okay, let's go. This last segment is unfortunately yet another story that leaks too far into the realm of reality. According to the internet, the first sighting of Jeff the Killer was in a strange YouTube video first posted on August 2nd, 2007. The image of Jeff the Killer is chilling to say the least. The image portrays a terrifying entity missing most of its facial features besides two large eyes, long black hair, and a crooked smile. Some legends to why Jeff looks this way were not the most heartwarming, including the theory that Jeff's face had been melted off by acid. After scouring the internet, the possibly real story of Jeff is just as haunting as his fantasy origins. Some say the original undoctored images were of a girl named Katie Roberts. According to the story, Katie was being teased about her weight on the website 4chan. A message appeared the following day from Katie's sister saying that she had killed herself overnight due to the online torment. The torment including the alleged Photoshop image that is now remembered as Jeff the Killer. Did you like these stories? Well, if you did, you should head over to iHorror.com, the number one place for all things horror.